How's it going ladies and gentlemen? I've been on a vacation this week so I thought I would put in a video just monitoring the NETC reports and I saw some disturbance here in the Midwest and it's kind of hard to pinpoint where this radiation is coming from but I think this is fairly significant considering that you have a lot of these in RADCON 4 and I was just looking over the the maps and I was like oh man I don't have the upgraded version anymore so I just re-upped that and I am now a paying member to NETC again so I can show you what is going on over here because I was very curious I mean this is kinda of around my birthplace here yeah I have a lot of friends in this area and you're going to see several of these radiation sites have had the highest amounts of radiation they've had in over a year and I suspect this is around November 1st so this would be actually a leak on Halloween so they they pick one of the most evilest days of the year to do their rad release and let's just have a look shall we so this is a this is by the Indiana as you can see this is a one year average pretty uh, you know consistent kind of going up over here in about August but boom October 31st November 1st their highest reading let's check the next one here so over here by the Great Lakes this is a one-year average as you can see that's that's their also their highest November 1st and over here in the northeastern side of Indiana Fort Wayne as a key six-month average this is their also their highest November 1st uh, next one here this is a weird thing going on over here in Beaver Valley I'm a little suspicious of this area here specifically because they have Beaver one nuclear power plant offline so I wonder could this be a potential area of release and this is also their highest November 1st here as you can see their highest in a six month period so there's also a lot of radiation in West Virginia in this whole area here I've noticed uh, there's not a lot of wind activity and it's kind of like staying around these areas I think that's why you're seeing these areas all blow up because the wind is not getting pushed out like the rest of the country I'm going to show you that on a map here so you can see there's just not a lot of wind activities this this cloud cover here okay uh, the, there's some definitely some radiation in this area in that cloud cover so it's just not a lot of wind there compared to the rest of the country okay so here's one more map okay they did have a high uh, amount of radiation leave October August 24 but then after that as you can see October 30 so I was trying to check the NRC uh, to see what kind of events have been reported and as usual you're gonna see a lot of medical releases but generally these aren't enough to cause a more than statewide uh, issue now there could be potentially that could happen but a lot of times this is a uh, an overdose this is uh, uh, some seeds so not quite enough radiation to cause statewide disturbances but uh, you can have these hospitals release a significant amount of radiation uh, it is very possible but what I think is the could be another clue as to what's going on is here at the Clinton nuclear power plant in Illinois there was a uninterruptible power supply out of specification uh, what they found was that it had heavy damage wouldn't turn on a lot of transistors were burned out so possibly this was being used at the Clinton nuclear power plant and they didn't have a stable uh, supply of energy going into this power plant so it's very funny how they word this okay so 
It was provided by Exelon. It didn't power up properly. The unit was returned to Northrum for failure analysis. Inspection of the internals showed damage to transistors when energized. So these were damaged. The output was out of specification. Uh, the UPS has been supplied for use at the Clinton Power Station. So N Northrum was notified by the customer. The customer is the Clinton Nuclear Power Plant. And this is in that general area of high ra radioactive activity. So I'm not really sure. Could it be Beaver Valley? Could it be Clinton Nuclear Power Plant? I mean, there's so many nuclear power plants that are in this range of high radioactive activity it's kind of hard to pinpoint and say where uh, sometimes I can sometimes I can just kind of getting an idea of looking at wind maps you can get some clues so I'm going to put up some wind maps and I'm going to try to overlay some of these uh, power plants get a general idea though you know the winds probably have changed a bit but at least we might get a few clues and this will also give you an idea where these winds are going to be going next looks like a lot of these are going to be going up into Canada uh, these winds are going to be slowly pushing northward as of now so if you see a lot of high radioactive activity south of you and you're north of these areas I suggest probably be a good idea turn on the uh, air purifiers you know try to limit your exposure outside until these uh, winds pass over you this is a generalized wind map we've been using for a long time here but as you can see the winds are mostly in the middle of the country and in the west uh, the winds have been stagnant over the radioactive areas so I'm gonna call this the Halloween release because I believe this is something that happened on Halloween because these radioactive detections seem to be elevating November 1st so this was a Halloween release the satanics have released their radiation upon us what a dreadful uh, Halloween way to celebrate huh but this is what they kinda like to do they like to do their evil stuff at these times of years perhaps you know, could be an accident but I am inclined to believe that also maybe they could be potentially doing some type of refueling work at one of these locations and whenever you have a refueling at one of these nuclear power plants you tend to see these radioactive surprises I must say uh, generally not the type of surprise you'd like to open up so that could be potential that's why I was kind of leaning toward maybe this Beaver Valley station being at its zero power down could be in a refueling process I don't know I'm just taking a guess at it stab at it um, yeah me myself what can you say I've took an extended break here you know I'm just trying to recalibrate here had to find some work some full-time work so I haven't really had time to post I've been getting hit up with my association uh, for making me do you know all type of ridiculous stuff I gotta catch up with so I just haven't had the time you know family things going on you know my mother broke her hip trying to take care of her so it's just a lot of stuff going on it's, times have really been tough out there I'm sure a lot of you are struggling just like me so I don't want to seem like oh woe is me woe is me because I know a lot of you are suffering out there as well man I have been going through it though uh, our insurance rates have actually doubled for the house can you imagine you're paying ten eleven thousand dollars for insurance that you're probably never gonna use me luckily we did we got spared from that hurricane but you know it's just ridiculous the prices down here for insurance I definitely would like to escape out of here go to an area that specifically away from a nuclear power plant away from the coast uh, away from these uh, strong hurricanes preferentially I would like to be not in an earthquake zone not near a uh, potential tsunami but it's getting more uh, dangerous out there specifically worldwide events what's going on with Russia uh, the escalations that you can see the Nord Stream pipeline blown up the fingers being pointed uh, UK we used to think mutually assured destruction would be what would kind of protect us from uh, these nuclear weapons being used on us but you can see when you have madmen in control 
mutually assured destruction doesn't work because they're kind of looking at it as they don't care. The stakes have been raised. Now that uh, both countries are talking about the potential use of first strike when certain thresholds have been crossed. So you see upgraded nuclear weapons being sent to Europe. You see uh, Russia threatening to send nuclear weapons to Venezuela, Cuba. Definitely we are in the danger zone. When you have a nuclear releases from nuclear power plant, it is like a dirty bomb going off. There's just no other way to frame it. When you have multi-states that are being affected, that's like a dirty bomb going off. I'm just going to uh, overlay this, uh, have a look and see. This uh, are good indicators here of uh, what's going on. Should you be staying inside for the next few days? I would definitely, if I were you, at least go on to the NETC maps and get an idea when these areas kind of cool off. You don't have to be a paid member to, to, to look at the NETC. Uh, but also, this is a animated time stamp of the last 24 hours, so you can kind of get an idea what has been happening uh, from this daily event here. So let's just uh, take a look at it here. Okay, you see these areas are popping off right here in Indianapolis. We had a jump up here at 236. Here by the Great Lake, we have two areas that have been popping off, 233. Okay, Chicago, not too much on that one, 206. North Dakota, unusually high, look at that, 572. So it looks like some of these winds have been pushing up north. I don't know why the radiation levels are so high there. Okay. 4.49 in Fresno. Let's keep going. Three sixty nine in Iowa. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you, this is the NRC's uh, fall image, and I thought it was really ominous display, and it's pretty significant, or should I say, it's kind of like an indicator. To me, I don't see the fall here, I see I see like a nuclear explosion, and I see these, these people just being vaporized, uh, so I know they try to pull off a, a fall image, but for me... This is kind of like a sign, like the NRC is showing us that basically we're being uh, radiated to extremes. Let me know what you think of this image. I thought it was pretty weird to see on their webpage that they would uh, they would uh, pull the, try to pull this off. Because to me, it looks like fire. It looks like like these people are being surrounded by radiation. That's just kind of like what I saw when I when I see this. So I'm gonna close it out here. I want to thank you for for checking up on me and checking up on the page you know I'm gonna to try to push more of these videos out of here I seem to once I make a few of these going I kind of get in a groove and I make a few more and uh, especially if I see you know people are responding back to to a video like this you know it kind of motivates me to keep on going so just want to thank you all for hanging in there and thank you for your support seeing you shortly hopefully take care